Or Karn, it is Celeste. <coughs> okay, um, so I guess I'll just be an asshole and do it again? Uh, are you gonna... Uh, are you about to hit Cyrus? Oh, yeah, okay, well, we can, I won't do that. We can use our cantrips as many times as we want, right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, to um, be fair, Cyrus is tanky as fuck. He I know, but I don't want to... The problem with Thunder Wave is that it's an automatic hit, and it's just half damage, so I'd rather not go that route, uh, because he's always, he's in my lane, that's fine. Um, I'll use... Um, I'll use... I'll use Booming Blade. Again. Oh, you're not within me. melee range of anyone at the moment. Right. Okay, then I will use uh, lightning lure on the one directly in front of me. Okay. So that's uh, a strength north. save, if I remember correctly. Yes. Uh, yes. That's cool because goblins have minus one to their strength, so Fantastic. that is a nine, which is a fail. Okay. Uh, target must succeed a strength saving throw or be pulled ten feet in a straight line towards you, and then take one d8 lightning damage. Okay, so he's pulled towards you. Roll me a d8. Let me just check the number that one is. For those of you watching the stream wondering why I'm rolling backwards and forwards, this whiteboard is on my floor next to the computer, so that's all the trolling. I think that's an 8. Five. Hey, Apoth, do I move up a square because I charge with the guy? 8. Because I fail so hard that I didn't even move. Uh, you. You ran up to the guy. Yeah. And hit him. I just need to relabel this dice because I did it wrong the first time. Uh, uh, black. There it is. Okay, so how much damage did you get? Sorry, Celeste. One. <laughs> oh. Are you... Oh man. I'm really good at this game. Let's turn it out. Back here. Oh, okay, that's. Oh, we're he doesn't get an attack six. of opportunity though. Fuck. We're all shocking no all. Yeah. I'm losing everything as well. Sorry. Okay, there we go. I'm kind of a okay, fan we're good. We're good. of the lightning whip, though, that I got going on. Like, I'm a huge fan like, of this. It's pretty cool. So, we're on six takes one damage. Right. Sorry. Okay. Next, after Celeste, it is Shira Denira. Alright. Well, I'm going to she... go ahead and look at one of these one of these goblins. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to use a uh, vicious mockery again. Yep. All right, I'm gonna look at this one. I'm gonna go. You ugly. Mm -hmm. You ugly. Yeah, yeah. You an ugly goblin. How you feel about that Tobin, man? You ugly. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Is that the one that just got lightning lured? Yep. Nice. Okay. So what do we have to do for that spell? Uh, let me open up my spell book. I think that's a uh, wisdom save. To, uh, they need to succeed on a wisdom throw save or take one d4 psychic damage. on the save. Does that beat your so, spell save DC? Um, it does not. So oh, my spell save DC is 13. Yes, so it did beat uh, it. Okay, Alas, so that's no spirit. damage, unfortunately. In which case, nonetheless, I'm going to use my bonus action now. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to inspire our paladin. Ah, bardic inspiration. Do you want to read out? Sing to him, and I'm going to go. These goblins aren't going to kill you, and it's going to make you stronger. You're going to stand a little taller. Doesn't mean you're alone, because you're here with us alone. What doesn't kill you makes you a fighter. Swinging that sword even lighter. Doesn't mean it's over till they're gone. Beautiful. I feel fucking fired. How do you do this? <laughs> Seriously. I'm so I make it up. <laughs> awesome. Fair enough. Okay. So that's the end of Shira's turn. Cyrus, you are up, newly inspired with the bards back. Here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if I actually need that. Uh, I rolled a 14. I don't think I want to add it. I think that should probably. No, let's add it. Fuck it. Let's roll a d6 and add it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's, just, let's make sure I hit something. For I was going to say 14. You made. Last time. You made an excellent decision. Yeah. Well, I hope one. Which one do you want to hit? Which one do you want to hit? Uh, the one to my right. The one that's already been taking damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. And I had, I rolled that d6 and one to my 14, so that would make it a 15. Uh, yeah, so that's I, a hit. That's yeah. a hit. Alright, so that's a d8 plus a shit ton. Uh, do, you, wait, uh, do, you, so do I get proficiency added to damage, or do I just no, get a plus No, just strength. strength. Just strength. Okay, and then, and then the sword itself, so that's a 4. Yeah. That's nine total. Wow. Okay, 
you just stab the longsword into the chest of the goblin, slice straight up, slicing its skull in half, and it just kind of rips open to the side in front of you, like some grotesque flower blooming in the summer. And it yeah, is... Yeah, I'm gonna kind of hunker down behind it my is... shield and just smile at the other three as I... Killed to death. To I have intimidation. Is it possible to scare the shit out of him? That would require a, an action of some kind. Okay, alright. Okay, so yes. that goblin Melody. is dead. Okay, Thanks. after Cyrus, it is the goblins! Uh, two of which are going to attack Cyrus, one of which is going to attack Karn, so these are going to be the two attacks on Cyrus. We have uh, one hit and one miss. So Cyrus, you're going to take uh, seven slashing damage from the scimitar that hit you. That gets reduced down to four because of your minus three from your uh, heavy weapon mastery. And then uh, Karn, an attack roll against you. What's your AC, buddy? Thirteen. Thirteen. He crits you. Uh -oh. <laughs> Shit. Dwarf down. Getting another one. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, you take ten damage of the slashing kind. Oh god. Are you unconscious? That's all of you. Um, I'm not sure how exactly to say this, but my HP maximum is currently written as a smiley face. <laughs> okay. You didn't know. Okay, so uh, the hit die for a cleric, I want to say, is a d8. It is, in fact, a d8. And then plus what's your constitution two. modifier? It's a plus two. So you had 10 HP maximum. Oh yeah. Ten of which I just removed. You are on zero hit points. You are unconscious. Oh Christ, here we go. You are not on death saving throws. Because you hit zero exactly, but your cleric is stabbed and he just falls to the floor. Alright, so I'm out cold, in other words. Yes. Shit. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Well that's that's not good. Okay, uh roll a D4. Any modifiers? Nope, straight D4. One. You are asleep for an hour unless somebody heals you in some way. Okay. This is gonna be problematic. Yes. Okay. Let's figure it out. So that's the end of the goblins' turn. They did pretty well. I'm proud of the little guys. Finally, finally getting some work done. Uh, it is, in <laughs> fact, Karn's turn, who is having a little snooze. So we'll skip on past him to Celeste. Right. Okay. Um... Oh, well, I'm gonna run to run the bathroom real quick. Yeah, you're dead. You can't do anything anymore. Anyway. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to. Exactly. <sighs> Is it possible? I'm gonna back up a square. Uh. Sorry, who's backing up a square? That's Celeste, which uh, is here. Yes. So you. And then I'm going to lightning lure the one closest to Karn. Okay. So that's a strength saving throw. It has to be plus. It has to be higher than a 14. That's a fail. Fantastic. So it's 1d8. He's pulled towards me. And that is 8 damage. Oh, you just, you, you just shakes with lightning and falls to the ground, a smoking charred mess. You killed him. Perfect. Okay, only two goblins remain standing, but so do only three members of the party. I killed the guy that that killed you, Karn. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, and then, uh, I don't have any potions, I don't think. Mm, nope, I cannot revive you right now, sorry. And I'll just lay here on the ground dreaming of fear. Okay. Is, that uh, is my turn. Who's next? That's going to be Shira, Nira. Alright. I'm gonna look at one of these goblins. Probably, uh. Any of them, really. Just shit. Any of them with a little health would be good. At this point. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another beautiful song against them. Vicious mockery. I'm gonna go. See you going round Goblin Town with people I love, and I'm like, fuck you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess the people up top weren't enough, and I'm like, Fuck you, and I fuck them too. Is this the one on the left or the one on the right? Left. Okay, great. So that's a whiz save, right? Yep. And that's a fail. Yes! So now I get to roll 1d4, 
and I get to tell you what kind of psychic damage they got, and I just got a one. Nice. So they got they got uh, psychic damage and have a disadvantage on the next attack roll before they make for the end of its next turn. The uh, discord rings in its ear in its ears, and you can sense it going off balance from the music as it's fucked with in a psychic manner. Uh, after one, uh, after Ashira, it's Cyrus. Uh, I had four points to heal Metric. I'm going to reach down and just put my hand on uh, the dwarf's ankle and give him one hit point. I have five. Karn, uh, you awake, feeling the worst hangover you've experienced in many years, many decades possibly, but you are up on one hit point. That is unfortunate considering I haven't had anything to drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm awake. I have a hangover. Got yeah. It. Uh, so after Cyrus, it is the goblins. Yay! Uh, they're both going to hit uh, Cyrus because they are displeased with him undoing their full-on comrade's work, and they both perform glancing blows that do not connect. Yeah. Fucking tanking all day. Yeah. yeah. He's uh. I don't know why I asked you guys who's next, I'm the one tracking initiative. Uh, after uh, Cyrus, it is... Sorry, after the Goblins, it is Karn on one hit point. You're currently on the floor, you are prone. Alright, so I'm prone, I'm on the floor. Uh, yeah. am, I allowed to, am I allowed to drag myself to my feet? Does that constitute yes. an action? That right. takes uh, half your movement. Alright, so I drag myself to my feet. Um, noticing that there is a table directly between... Uh, Alright, there's a goblin directly between me and the table. The table presumably has drinks upon it. Seeing a chance to revitalize myself by downing everything on the table, I run full pelt towards the table, fly tackling the goblin in the process. Is it a thing that I can do? Uh, say, say, run that by me again. Okay. <laughs> so, I want to run full pelt at the table, fly tackling the goblin between me and the table in the process. Oh god, hell yeah. Make me uh, strength roll athletics if you've got it. Strength roll. Alright, give me yeah. one second. What the hell are those modifiers? There they are. Uh, 18. Oh, shit. Fantastic. Uh, this guy rolls like a sack of shit. So, uh, you just grab this goblin, run him into the table, you grapple him, and you just smash his head on the table, and he takes a d4 plus your strength modifier damage to the face. Ah, awesome. uh, 6. Six damage. This Damn. guy. What number is this? Shit, son. You knock him out cold. That worked better than expected, actually, <laughs> especially for a fucking dwarf on one hit point. Yeah, man. Like, you were limping, but, like, that sudden surge of energy, you, you fucking got it. Did you do anything else on your turn? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Unless I can reach towards the table to see if there's any beer left on it. That's the only other thing I could There is a beer. There is a shattered glass holding, like, a, like a little pool of alcohol in it. Am I able to, uh, drink whatever is left in the shattered glass and then stab the shards into the, uh, goblin's forehead? Fuck it, why not? Go for okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do that. You- <laughs> You just, like, <laughs> carve this broken glass into the guy's face, blood streaming everywhere. Like, what it's do I pretty roll gruesome. That? You don't- you just do it, and it's okay, awesome. Yeah, he was doing it. Alright. He, he was already dead, so it's a little creepy, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, okay. Uh, okay, so we only have one goblin left up, and it is uh, Celeste's turn. Uh, okay. I will move within... Uh, if I move diagonal, I'm still in melee, yes? Uh, yes. Within five feet? Yeah, diagonal. Okay, so I'll feet. do that, and I'll try booming blade again with my staff, so I need to roll to see if I... Hit with a melee attack first. Mm -hmm. With two hands, come on! Natural 20! Oh shit, oh, son! Nice. Roll me Ooh. some double die damage. Okay, hold on, I gotta look at this spell again now. Uh, okay, so. Booming Blade. Uh, okay, blah blah blah, and hit the target sufferers. The attack's normal effects, and it becomes sheathed in booming energy until the start of your next turn. It's such a waste, because it's not gonna happen. The target willingly moves before then it immediately takes 1d8 thunder damage and the spell ends. So I do 1d8 damage, well 2d8. Um, do you want me to roll 2d8 and double it, or do you want me, do you like us to roll two dice? Uh, roll two dice. 
that is a 10. 10 damage. 10, I guess, minus 2. 